What's up, y'all? This is Smokey Black, 19750. I'm back on deck in a full effect. I'm about to get this gameplay started. I'm gonna do some solos, do maybe a couple of day games. Type in this information real quick. some of this real quick. Pretty sure these are not long. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm the coach and this is Madden Ultimate Team. Now let's see what the, the channel subjective is, but that's what the touchdown is drive. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're blocking, breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. Touchdown, Brandon Marshall, 65 yards. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. Nice job there getting the win. Next up, another challenge, of course. Let's make no bones about it on paper. Welcome, everybody. I'm the coach. Up next, another ultimate challenge on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's join this one already in progress. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We will begin this challenge in the second quarter with less than three minutes remaining. You're leading by six points, but you've driven into opponent territory, and it's second and one. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. And this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this... Welcome into this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, the coach. Now let's hand it off to Brandon and Charles as we jump straight into the action. We pick up this challenge in the third quarter with less than three minutes left on the clock. You're down by six, but you're just across midfield, and it's second and five. Out of the gun, Tannehill. It's a gain of five, and it'll bring up a second down. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Tannehill now to throw. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To the air again, Tannehill. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's running at the Jaguars' 17-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. From the red zone now, Tannehill flush to his right. And it's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Excuse me, Honey. Can you hand me my cell phone? Please. Yes. yes. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Tannehill. 
Oh, big pressure right. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Six-time Pro Bowler Calvin Johnson, the intended target. But it'll be second and goal. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep... And it's caught. Touchdown. Brandon Marshall there to make the grab. And his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead. Well done. You've defeated this ultimate challenge. Now, if there are stars still available, you can always replay the challenge again. Otherwise, it's time to move on to the next one. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. To finish this out, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We jump into this challenge for the good stuff in the fourth quarter, and we're already at the two-minute warning. You're down seven. Your opponent has possession at your 30-yard line. First and ten. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's caught. Heck of a move and then brought down near the 23. 92 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They run it again with Cook. Mm. Oh, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. Congratulations on yet another victory. Now you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available or return to challenges to receive your reward. Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, The Coach. Let's get back to Brandon and Charles for the call. Okay, Coach, we jump into this challenge for the good stuff in the fourth quarter, and we're already at the two-minute warning. You trail by a touchdown. Your opponent has possession at your 40, and it's first and 10. So a first and 10 as the Buccaneer offense gets ready to go. First and ten. Here's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. And just like that, another ultimate challenge has been defeated. Savor the victory, if only for a moment, because you know there's always another challenge right around the corner.
we are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. Too deep, here comes the return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. <laughs> Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he's got his receiver, that's Sammy Watkins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 17 yards on the game's opening play, and a quick first down. Throwing is Jackson. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll come up now on second and a yard. To throw is Jackson. Rolling to his right. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. They'll run on first down. Alexander. And a good burst there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like something you're supposed to do, but when you have to think about your assignments against him, it often slows down your feet. You don't move as fast. You've got to be prepared for this guy every step of the way and then try and match his athleticism. On third down, it's Alexander. Trucks over him. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. the touchdown. Here's Koo to kick off. Williams to return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now 
Jackson on first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it a second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. He'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On third and one, Jackson. Now that one going to be knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run the counter. Alexander. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is, that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Jackson looking to throw on third. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Now Jackson. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, I, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? On second down now, it's Alexander. And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him four yards there, but they're still well short of the goal line with four. He's all for it. Oh, uh, okay. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, seven nothing ball game. And his kick here is good. And the lead moves. To I definitely need a score. Definitely. Nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself in the range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you get some time with it. And they do so right there. Just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 
offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go... Yeah, for it, thing just collapsed like a mud, man. I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened think there. That, factored in? that line just totally think collapsed, in man. Mind going into the game that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. On first down, Staley. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. All told, they get 13 yards on that play. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. I definitely need a quick score. Good plays have him on the move on first down. Jackson steps away. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That strategy, though. I like how you spread out. Jackson now. They'll roll him out right. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all he needed. First down. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Now a throw here to his running back. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To throw again on second down, Jackson. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 19. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end Kittle. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Toward the pylon, caught. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. Now, before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second down and goal. Jackson flushed to his... And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Lamar Jackson taking it in from two yards out. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. Do we have another ball for their life? Well, I'd have to say that for him, Do we have another ball, ball for their life? Because their life ball because it was his arm that got his team yeah. down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. The offense going to stay on the field as they will line up and go for two. 
Jackson here is going to look to throw. Forced out to his left. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Let's go, let's go. Let's Welcome go. back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. <laughs> So a four-point game here as we get set to resume action in this third quarter of play. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Fence back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. They go play action with Jackson. The ball popped in the air. I knew that play was going to happen. I knew that play was going to happen. I should have not did that. I should have not did that. That was my fault. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work. That was his fault. That was Jackson's fault that did that. That was poor the execution. The offense now at the line. Ready really? You're going to interrupt the day on screen? Really? Start by running the option to the right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, he's certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Love it Both teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. First down and more for Jackson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Cool execution, Jim. Yeah. They go play action now. Jackson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. 
A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Over the middle complete, that's Williams. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That'll go as a pick up of 32 on the catch and run. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. On the move to his left. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. I need a two-point conversion, man, and I need to stop. Why are you playing at Angle Bay to win this game? I can't stop Jackson. Now it's Jackson. This is caught. Touchdown. George Kittle, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. They'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Here's Jackson. Henry's got it out on the left side. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, it's Alexander, and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Alexander, and he'll get this only up to about the 35. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Second and nine, Jackson dancing to his left. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Here's Jackson to throw. And he finds McLaurin. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion. Right You're playing real small football, man. Going. They take valuable time. Real small football. Well. That now turnover really messed me up. That last completion. They'll run on first down. It's Alexander. 
Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Alexander. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down, keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Eluding the pressure right. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. That's into the hands of the tight end Boyle. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. That one a backbreaker as they wind yeah, up was it. there on fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Taking him down as a veteran, Darrell Rivas. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Jackson to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. That turnover messed me up, though. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Jackson. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They work on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see it practice. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Now, Came in over with you yet, man. On to kick it away. I don't need no rehash. I don't need no remembrance of what happened last time. A few steps into the end zone. Come on, dog. No. No! Why'd he quit? <laughs> oh, man. That was.
was a classic, man. That came down to the wide dog. Come on. Damn, that was a good game, man. They came down to the wide, dog. I did not appreciate that, dog. Come on. Touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive lineman involved because he's got to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. To throw his <laughs> field position. They're let out by the NFL's MVP from 2019, now in his fourth season out of Louisville, Lamar Jackson. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And we spend a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others, but the key to everything for him is ability to be accurate from the pocket. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Jackson. He's going to flip one out. Touchdown! A 14-yard touchdown. And his guys have taken a first-quarter lead. 
seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive spanned five plays. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. Now Bush on the return. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no Let's further. Go, Let's go! The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. You always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a in trouble, and he's taken down. DeMarcus Ware, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football to the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. There's Hill. Oh, that's into a double. Oh, okay. Team. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. They were in the dime. They had six defensive backs there, so... It's almost turned into a blanket of coverage, isn't it? You talk about the best defenders you have are the defensive backs. Six of them on the field, you're almost asking for trouble, and that's exactly what they ran into. Ended up throwing a pick six. Yeah, six defenders and six points. Extra point try good by Gano, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to pull loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary in that last possession, though. Looking to throw again on second down. Hill. And that's complete. Albert Okure-Bune. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. 39 yards there, a big one. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Wide open receiver complete. It wasn't wide open. It was tight. It was tight defense, tight coverage. We just don't know. Suck at. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. They'll go screen here to Hunt, and he's brought down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking a little time to get down here. And now they're set up for the first to goal. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts 
as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll try to run with him. He's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Kareem Hunt. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Eagles get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Mm. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Williams now on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead should they so choose. They'll buy some time right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Mm -hmm. sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. To throw is Jackson out to his left. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Good he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They give him 26 yards to the third down conversion. Now Jackson on first down, rolling to his right. He's got it to Williams. And they will get the first down here. They move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Put more pressure on them. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing on first down. It's Jackson. Pick up. Flushed out right. And he's got it. Two Good pick up. so far and his guys are going to add on to their lead partner to me that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted oh, in man. seeing the future what i mean by that mm. is they had a plan let's find a way to score right here before the half and that'll give us momentum going into the second half give us that cushion that we're looking for they got that accomplished scoring right before the half ended. wow you saw how fast that ball went man maybe with some frustration yeah. the pat miss the ball went quick, yeah. They'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. On first and 10, Hill. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Albert O. Albert Okurebuna was a target there. But it's going to be second down. Here's Hill. He finds his man complete. It's Bush. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard mm -hmm. line. That second down play nets a minus four. Well, so much for bluffing the defensive line into thinking that they were going to be able to get to the quarterback. Instead, they sniffed out the screen pass and made a really nice play for lost yardage. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. No, Charles, you'd have right to there. think this is where you want to start taking some time off the clock. Oh, definitely, because you got the lead. Right, you take a good look up there and you say, okay, what do we need to do here? Well, you're not in full-out protect mode. You want to make sure you run it, throw it safe, take some time off, and eat it up. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And across the midfield, yeah. stripe into Eagle territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. 
They'll keep it on the ground. Steal it. And he'll be brought down at the Come on, yeah. line. Two yards, good enough for a first. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. Well, they're hoping the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Flush to his right. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Throwing is Jackson. Sliding out of the pocket. Three, Calvin. Complete Calvin Johnson. Touchdown! Calvin Johnson, 36 yards. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling the way, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. But well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. on the return and he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. so here are the eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half so here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. they'll fake the handoff now hill that's complete, Akira Buna. And he'll be corralled around the 34. First play of the drive going for 14 in the first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. What? 